What's up, what's up? If you're looking to buy a fully featured smartphone at under a thousand dollars, we're here to help. Here we have three recently released phones under seven hundred and fifty dollars: the Huawei Nova 3i, the Oppo R15, and the Samsung A8 Star. Each of these smartphones are comparable, each with a dual camera at the rear and a fingerprint sensor. Oh, they're also about the same size. The Huawei and the Oppo both have notches, but the Samsung doesn't really have notches. So we're going to do three tests across three key areas to help you decide which phone is the best for you. Let's go! So what we're going to do is test out the colour profile of these three phones by taking pictures of the Singapore River. Basic tourist montage, let's go! Here you can see that the Oppo looks slightly warmer than the rest. We felt that the Samsung's colour profile was the most true to life. While the Huawei has the greatest contrast, which gives the picture a very dramatic Instagram-y feel. We're also going to test out the front selfie cam. All the front cams come with a beauty filter. You can see the LX looks very pretty in all three of them. Although in the Samsung one, the sky looks almost blown out and very, very bright. Next, we're going to test out portrait mode. The Samsung one allows you to adjust the depth of view, which the other two don't. In terms of subject isolation, all three are comparable. Okay, okay. Let's go into the aircon to do the low light shot. Very hot, very hot. You have the phones, right? Mm -hmm. Have I what? The phones are with you, right? I thought they were with you. Oh, it was pretty dark inside the museum, but you can see that all three phones managed to produce decent pictures. The Samsung picture looks a bit yellow, which is a little unnatural. However, it did manage to capture a lot of detail, which the Oppo and the Huawei didn't manage to catch. If you want highly detailed pictures with a true-to-life colour profile, you go with the Samsung. However, if you want an image that is social media ready and you don't have to edit as much, you check out the Huawei. So it's day two and we're back in office. We're going to run a battery test and a performance test and let you know how the phones fare. So first, for the battery test, we're going to test these three twang twangs. And we're going to... <laughs> so we're going to test all these three twang twangs. And we're going to blast them on full brightness, full sound and stream videos all the way until their battery goes dead. For the results, Look right here. At the 3 hour mark, the Huawei and the Oppo were neck and neck at 60 and 62% respectively. The Samsung, it was still doing well at 72%. Seven and a half hours later, the Huawei finally died and the Oppo followed suit just after 8 hours. The Samsung ended the challenge with 21% battery life. You know, it's like France versus Croatia close. Gaming on the go is getting more and more popular, so you're going to want a phone that can keep up with your snipes and stunts. All these phones are packed with different processors, so now we're going to do our test to see how each of these bad boys stack up. We installed an app called 3D Mark on all three phones. This tests the graphics and the physics score, which we took an average of. From the results, you can see that the Oppo and the Huawei are neck and neck, while the Samsung just edges past the other two. After spending some time with these three phones, I must say that we were super impressed and it was really neck and neck. But if you have the cash to splash, I would say take a look at the Samsung. And if you sense sense the mama tui pang, right? Because you go with the Huawei, it's trillion dollars cheaper than all of its competitors. And the results are pretty close. Trillion dollars or 600 wow. siu mai or 100 cheese and mushroom prata. Eh. Think about that. The Oppo R15 takes great pictures and has a pretty beefy processor. At the end of the day, it's up to you to decide which one is best. You choose up. Oh, sorry. We'll see you guys next time.